is going on ladies and gentlemen this is your boy Jay and welcome back to another FC Cincinnati blog I actually missed the last game uh, we played I believe it was I can't even remember I'm not even gonna try to not even try to remember in this video but in the same respect uh, today is actually the US Open Cup we are in the next round uh, and we are playing Louisville City once again first first time didn't end up so well I think they won 2-0 I think at our place but in the same respect, this is a nice little rubber match that we get back at home here at Nippert. So hopefully this time, this go around, end up beating them 1-0, maybe 2-0. Uh, GB's actually eligible for this game, so it should be good for us to actually go out and get a win. And then the next game, if we actually win, will be against Columbus Crew, which is going to be huge for us, especially showing our talents against the MLS. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. We're walking into Nippert right now. It's got a little bit loud, but... Hopefully it's a good crowd tonight, and let's go FCC. California, number five, Aiden Quinn. A midfielder from Plano, Texas, number 19, Corbin Bow. A midfielder from San Ramon, California, number 23,
Bush plays in the corner. What a game. Um, well, first, I'm just just baffled in a good way for once that it's just so great. Now, granted, we had about 6,500 fans there tonight, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like an actual, like we had about 15,000 like we actually averaged. I know it was a Wednesday game. I know people were getting off of work. Not a lot of people were anticipating this game. Playing Louisville City again, it was kind of a will we win? Will we? I think we lost two 0 the first go around with them, but no, it was a very good game. Um, it was very physical. I will give it that. Um, questionable calls here and there, for both sides. I'm not even gonna say just for us and and against us. But it's question for both sides. Um, I think our attacking play in the second half was much more crisp. There were a lot of plays that I didn't even think we could pull out. Um, but it was good that GB started us off in the second half uh, with the goal to get us back, to get us uh, get us the go ahead winner. So the game winner that we had. Um, there were points in the game where the defense still has some troubles um, because they're they're allowing runs to be made by their uh, by their forwards. But I mean, Mitch played absolutely fantastic. I thought he could have been man of the match as well. Um, Koenig actually came off the bench and played well. McLaughlin played well. Uh, GB, outside of some mishaps, played really well. Obviously with the go-ahead goal. Um, and, no, it was fantastic. It was a good, good showing for the guys in blue and orange. And, honestly, I couldn't be more happy. Because now, at this point, we have a true test that awaits us. So, on June 14th, we actually get to... See our rival, not necessarily our rivals, but our buddies uh, of 71 and Columbus, actually the Columbus crew, come down to Cincinnati and play us here. And in terms of what we're trying to do for the MLS bid, is actually huge. Um, and I couldn't be more excited for this team, couldn't be more excited for the city. It's going to be great to see exactly what they can do in terms of playing against that level of competition. Yeah, last year we played against Crystal Palace, which they played basically the, like they played some of their A side, but then most of their B side. But this is going to be the true test to see if we want to make the MLS bid. Can we really play at that level? Um, I haven't watched I haven't watched Columbus Crew this year. I don't watch MLS, but I think it's going to be very exciting for the guys. Hopefully, we can actually get a win, and not even a win. I will be okay with. Well, we're gonna have to win, but. I'll be okay with just a fantastic showing, good passes, um, great defense. Uh, just make sure we're communicating and overall just letting us play freely. So I'm excited for the game. It's June 14th, so we have a we have a couple of weeks before the game even come even arrives in Cincinnati. You better believe there's going to be a lot of fans there. I'm expecting at least twenty thousand because of the the because the crew that will bring their fans down. We'll bring our fans. It's going to be loud. It's going to be raucous. And it's going to be very exciting. So, in the meantime, until then, we have about two. We have, I think we have one home game beforehand, which is on June 10th. So, you won't see any FC Cincinnati vlogs for a little bit. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would love to see this video at least hit two or three likes. Um, any, any fan support or any support that you all can show me will be very appreciated. And let's continue to build the city of Cincinnati in terms of FC Cincinnati, even with the local sports around here, let's continue to build this club up to reach that potential because it's going to be great for the guys. So, again, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you all enjoy. I will see you all in the next one, which will be June's 10th against the Charlotte Independents and then the big one on June's 14th against Columbus Crew. This is your boy Jay. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace out.